Hello, this is Teacher Richman, and today we are going to learn how to add integers. But before we do that, may I invite you to please like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will not miss our future uploads. So today we are going to learn how to add integers. There are rules in adding integers. But before we proceed to the rules of adding integers, we will remind ourselves first how to find the absolute value of a given number. Why? Because in dealing with the rules of adding integers, we will encounter absolute value. So we are going to find first the absolute value of a given number. Example, the absolute value of positive 9. So the absolute value of positive 9 is positive 9. And the absolute value of positive 11 is positive 11. And the absolute value of negative 9 is positive 9. And the absolute value of negative 11 is positive 11. Now, we have we've noticed here that the, the absolute value of a given number will always be positive. Why? Because absolute value of a given number is just a distance from zero. And with, when we talk about distance, it will always be positive because there is no such thing as negative distance. Okay? So we are going to proceed now to the rules of adding integers. We have two rules. The first rule is rule for rule for like signs and the second rule is the rule for unlike signs the first rule for like signs it says that find the sum of their absolute value and use the common sign as the sign of your answer and the second rule here is find the difference of their absolute values and use the sign of the integer with the greater value so we will use this rules in adding integers so the first rule like signs find the sum of their absolute value and use the common sign so the first example here we have positive 2 plus positive 3 so just get their absolute value or get the sum of their absolute value absolute value of positive 2 is positive 2 and absolute value of positive 3 is positive 3 so find the sum 2 plus 3 Therefore, our answer is positive 5. Why positive? Because the common sign, so the sign of 2 and 3 here, is positive. Let's proceed to the second example. Negative 7 plus negative 3. So all you need to do, just get the sum of their absolute value. The absolute value of negative 7 is positive 7 and the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. So, positive 7 plus positive 3 is equal to 10. And use the common sign as your answer for your, or as the sign of your answer. So, your answer here is negative 10. Next example, we have positive 7 plus positive 3 plus positive 11. Find the sum of their absolute value. So, you will have 21. And the common sign is positive, therefore our answer is positive 21. Next example, negative 4 plus negative 3 plus negative 8. Find the sum of their absolute value. So 4 plus 3 plus 8 is equal to 15. And the common sign is negative, so the, the sign of your answer is negative. Now let's proceed to the second rule of adding integers this is the rule for unlike signs find the difference of their absolute value and use the sign of the integer with the greater value so let's have the first example you notice here that they are unlike sign why because 5 is positive and the next number which is negative 3 so find the sum of positive 5 and negative 3. So as the rule says, 
that you will just simply get their difference. When we say difference, it is an answer of subtraction. So you will get the difference between 5 and 3. So your answer would be 2. But what is the sign of the greater number? It is positive, which is 5. 5 is greater than 3. So 5 is positive, therefore your answer is positive 2. Let's proceed to the next example. Negative 9 plus positive 3. So, as the rule says, you'll just simply get the difference between 9 and 3, which you will have 6. But what is the sign of the greater value, which is 9? It is negative. So, the sign of your answer is negative. So, our answer with... Uh, negative 9 plus positive 3 is negative 6. Alright, for our next example, negative 7 plus positive 3 plus negative 11. In this case, my technique of solving this, I am going to combine first all integers having the same sign. So, we have negative 7, negative 11. So, combine first negative 7 and negative 11 so you will have an answer of negative 18 plus positive 3 since we are going to add unlike signs negative 11 and positive 3 so you will get the difference and the answer is negative 15 so that is how we add integers so right now I'll give you some problems wherein you can practice how to solve or how to add integers.